What's up guys, Anthem Nanny here, Just finishing up my day. I'm doing some videos here and trying to organize my shit. But, um, had a great leg session with the, with the boys from Lulu. They came to the studio, we knocked around some legs. And earlier today we were, we were in Lulu and I was getting my outfit for the photo shoot. It was part of the ambassadorship is they have a professional photographer come out to the studio and you know, I guess do some get some footage of me working out and you know kinda of interacting with the community. I don't know what kind of pictures they're gonna use, but um, I was getting my outfit, which is pretty cool, first of all. I'm really grateful for that. But they were talking and there was a new guy there who's, you know, men's physique guy and we were talking about sharing stories about, you know, the competitive world. And of course, Karen, Karen's you know, Miss Universe and Miss, Miss World Championship come up with the topic. And uh, yeah, we're talking about it. And of course, it comes down to the you know the bridesmaid conversation about you know me taking second place, you know, more than I've taken first. And recently, you know, I placed second last year, 2017, 2016. I uh, placed second again in the Mister Universe for the second time and it just brought back some 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 memories and, and off the top of my head I said um, you know it keeps me humble you know every time you lose every time you don't win it just kind of keeps you grounded and you know it also keeps you hungry you know because you're counting that you're not there yet you know it's kind of like the, the story of the underdog and I feel like my whole life um, Competitive bodybuilding wise and even in, in business and certain things I've always been kind of like the underdog and maybe I've always maybe I self-inflicted um, Maybe I don't know my true potential yet. And it's kind of like self-discovery is learning what you're really capable of So it's a process, you know, it's part of part of the whole project You know my life or project life concept is that you're always going through some kind of challenges and, and uh, You know in pursuit of your goals and your dreams. You're always going through some kind of challenges so, I guess my message is stay humble, but also stay hungry. You know, um, winning all the time, you know, doesn't really create growth. It doesn't really challenge you because, I'm not saying I, you know, I don't train to win, but I kind of like it. I almost like being the underdog. I almost like not winning every time because it, it keeps me kind of, you know, grounded and, and it keeps me humble and also hungry at the same time if that makes any kind of sense um and at times i have won i almost felt like now what like afterwards like what is now what do i do you know and it happened a lot in bodybuilding and i used to go into a state of depression after a competition whether i won whether i lost whether i had my best showing or you know whether i got smoked because I wasn't, you know, at my best. Either way, I always felt a sense of like emptiness afterwards. It's kind of like the climax, right? You get to that point and you're like, fuck, now what? But anyway, stay humble, stay hungry. Believe in yourself. Trust the process. Practice patience. Project my life. See you soon.